Oh, preparing ourselves for the event today. We are here to get cleansed. This is an amazing moment as the UN Office for the Future gets launched in Playa del Carmen. One year after the, one year less three weeks after we planned it last year because of the COVID. But today, I think everything is set. We're going to have a Facebook broadcast. We're going to have an audience of I don't know how many on the first, what we do today. We're giving a moment of silence. Don't quite get silence here right now. You have to come on the weekends for your real silence. But the silent prayer reminds me of the time I was at St. Bartholomew's uh, Cathedral in New York City when the Secretary General called all the spiritual elders together to see, and he gave them all one minute. 26 of the spiritual elders and they got one minute. And each of the, each of the, um, traditions gave their good minute. You know, there was a Shema Yisrael, Adonai Eloheinu, Adonai Echud, and then a little jabber after that. But the most profound prayer was offered by Sri Shemoy, who has now passed on, but Sri Shemoy stood there in front of all the world leaders after maybe 15 or 18 had already given their one minute spiel. He stood there silently for one minute. Now that was an awesome experience. That was, I prepared myself then by playing the um, unity drum of Chief Arvo Looking Horse. And uh, this time I'm going to prepare myself with a conch shell. The conch shell rather than my drum. So let's see how we get this out. This is the presentation, I guess. And I think I have to put my phone down there. Uh, this is very risky stuff. There, and to the north, to the east. Spirits above. The spirits below. And to 
the sun. Not so good for the fourth one. But that's that's what we do when we prepare ourselves. It's a little bit long, but um, today is important because we will have the attention of the spiritual form in New York City and many elders around the world. The people in Sierra Leone will be aware of this. Um, people in Argentina, for sure. People in Canada, for sure. And Singularity University. Singularity University. What a fantastic delivery system for knowledge and information. The only problem with them is they're using the SDGs for framing it. We just have to shift that or just handle it differently. I, this is what the uh, advisors will tell me how to deal with it. Because we don't need to change their frame because it's wrong. We just build our frame and use our frame. Our frame is intelligently designed. Theirs isn't. Which one will you use? As um, someone said to me the other day, duh. I think he meant it differently. He was trying to understand E equals MC squared equals love. And he couldn't wrap his mind around it. He was stuck in a construct uh, that he called ontoaxiology. I think I have that right. I have no idea what it means. It's a life process that some theoreticians have identified, and he quotes it quite vociferously. And for me, it may have great meaning, but certainly not to me. It doesn't t take precedence over Poe, or does it take precedence over the ISO 26000, or does it take precedence over United Nations Declaration of Rights of Indigenous People? Or Poe, does it take precedence? No, it doesn't. So keep this prayer in your heart that the UN Office of the Future, which is going to host Tuesday, every Tuesday, from now to eternity, at 4.30 at the City Hall in Playa del Carmen. All my relations to all my elders that helped me get here. To get to this point, this is an amazing point. Louis Na, we, Master Humbitsman, Elder Vern Harper, Leonard Crow Dog, Sheikh Hassan Sisse, Bawa Jain, Lama Ganshin, Master Il Subong, even Charles Mer Mercieka. They helped me get to be able to launch the UN Office of the Future. And may it be good for everyone, all my relations.